Hey guys, welcome back to Honeycomb. My name is Keo. We're here in the lab with a new pair of sneakers to unbox. Let's get right into it. This is an Air Jordan box and it is a special collaboration. You can see here like the shiny letters on one side. That is a signature of Michael Jordan. Red Jumpman on the top. On the reverse side, we have some logos. We have the Nike Air logo. And then we have this logo over here, which is the logo of the collaborator of this sneaker. Spin it around the other side and we have our size tag. It says 9.5, my size, Air Jordan 7 Retro SP. SP means special projects in obsidian slash metallic gold colorway. Interesting choice. And then on the flap side of the box, you have the logo again with a word mark. Kofi Room is actually the store of Michael Jordan's son, uh, Marcus Jordan. Every time they come out with a collaboration, there's always a little bit of heat, a little bit of hype around it. Um, this one probably the least, but that really might be effect, the effect of the last one being way too overhyped, um, which were the frozen out Chicago Jordan ones. Uh, but another story for another day. Let's dive into this sneaker because I really like the storytelling around this shoe. Special thanks to Nike and Jordan brand that sent this over. We always appreciate your love and support um, and we are more than happy to support you guys back. All right, let's open up the sneaker. Flipping up the lid. Now let's pull this back. On the reverse of the lid, there's some writing. It says new sheriff in town and it says June 22, 1992, Monte Carlo, Monaco. Now that date and location and this new sheriff in town uh, writing is kind of the central concept around these sneakers. We'll get into it a bit more. The special trophy room tissue paper. Um, in the tissue paper, there's a jump man. There's a, there's like a drawing of a sheriff badge with a 23 inside and a basketball. Uh, as far as I know, it's the only time that that appears on this packaging. Oh, one more. On the box, it also says over here, welcome to the family. Maybe that has something to do with, with Marcus Jordan being Michael Jordan's son, literally family. Um, and as you know, Jordan brand is always about family. This, my friends, is the Air Jordan 7 Trophy Room. Ooh. Now, the sneaker usually comes unlaced. And these are laced. I have a really good reason why. We'll put them to the side. Inside the box, you get two extra pairs of laces. So there's a kind of sail lace, a red lace, and the blue lace that is already there. And they all have these nice gold tips on the end. And I want to show you some other things that are here inside the box. So first here you have a little clipboard and on the reverse is the story. Oh, there's the uh, the sheriff star getting stabbed into a basketball. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's really long. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight paragraphs uh, uh, <laughs> about the story of this sneaker. But I'm going to kind of paraphrase it. If you watch The Last Dance, you know more or less the story of this basketball game took place on June 22, 1992. And that was the practice game. Um, what gets referred to as the greatest game no one ever watched. And it's a practice game of the original dream team, Team USA, when Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan picked teams, they faced off against each other. And apparently this was the moment when a Team USA really was born as the dream team where they really um, congealed together. You gotta remember during this time, there was no social media. Players weren't texting each other and Instagramming each other all day. No, they lived in their city and that was it. And they hated each other. Here they actually had to win. They had to compete together. And so they didn't really know how to play together until this moment. So A, that's the first thing that happened and B, this was the moment when MJ really faced up against Magic. You know, Magic and Bird had owned the era. 
the previous few years of the NBA, the previous decades were owned by these guys. And MJ, this was the moment that he was, that he arrived and said, no, no, I'm the new sheriff in town. So to quote directly from the story, it says, uh, the team reflected on the practice. MJ walked into the room, turned to magic and said, there's a new sheriff in town. The room erupted with laughter. So that's on the back of the card. And then behind this little paper of the basketball court, you flip it up and it actually has the numbers of the team. So blue team is Magic's team. The white team is Jordan's team. Jordan's number is nine. Magic is 15. And then they pick their players uh, for who would be on each side of that 10 person dream team, five on five game. This basketball court is a replica uh, inspired an illustration of that basketball court, that practice court in Monaco that they had this famous game in. Of course, it didn't say trophy room in the middle, but it had a wooden floor. And then this was the color of the seats. And as you can see, all of the seats are empty. Let's talk about the sneaker. This is the Jordan 7 trophy room. The colorway is kind of inspired by the Olympic colorway of uh of the air jordan 7 the jordan 7 uh, celebrates 30 years now since that olympics now 1992 for me in particular was a great moment because um this was a moment that basketball really uh went out into the world when it really entered the zeitgeist um, and became something that was not just about america anymore but the whole world like basketball arrived at olympics in barcelona in 1992 and this was the silhouette that Jordan was wearing at the time in a similar color now the Olympic colorway shares some of the features the same main colors of course red white and blue in this one the white has been swapped out for a nice um, short hair suede in this kind of tan colorway but let's start with the top of the shoe let's start with the right sneaker first now inside you do have some shoe tree stuff this sneaker does not come laced up. I've actually been wearing it. It arrived a couple days before my trip to Singapore um, where I went to go visit Culture Cartel. I really wanted to wear these sneakers there. So I just, um, I did a like, quick unboxing on Instagram um, in my hotel room and then, uh, and then I wore them. So I have actually put in about 100,000 steps in these sneakers already. So this is kind of like a review after those 100,000 steps. But first let's look at the sneaker itself. Starting with the bottom, the traction. Now, um, you can see kind of some of the wear here already. Over here, you can see like some of the paint coming off. Now, I did clean these um, when I got back, uh, but you know, there's, there's a clear amount of usage that's on these sneakers. So you can definitely see it here where the toe is starting to wear down. And then here in the midfoot, you're starting to see some of the places where the paint is starting to come off so that's important to know that this sneaker does have a um does have a solid rubber outsole with some kind of cloudy transparent translucent material there but in order to get this multicolor, they also put a layer of paint on top and that will wear away as you can see hundred thousand steps especially here in the middle and that's on both sneakers it is starting to wear away a little bit of trivia, the pattern of the Jordan 7 is inspired by African art, African heritage, and it's one of the ways that MJ was paying tribute to his own heritage during that time. Now from the side, you can really see how that outsole wrapping up in the midsole is really featuring these translucent pods of kind of cloudy blue on there. It's a nice touch, reaches up into this polyurethane sail midsole with the peak features on the Jordan 7. Now, if you do care, inside the midsole is a full-length air unit. Um, it's pre-zoom air and it's not the same as the original. The original had two pods. This one now has full length and it is super comfortable. Now, moving up to the upper, the entire upper is made of a very soft suede um, and you can actually see it kind of already starting to fold a bit from usage. Now, this tan suede does add an element of luxury to this sneaker that makes it feel a bit more elevated in terms of its execution so you do feel like this is in some ways 
a Olympic Jordan 7, but at the same time, it feels like it's a little bit more special, which is what you want from your trophy room collaborations. No marking on the interior side and the on the uh, medial side, but on the lateral side, you have a lot of callbacks. You have the MJ Michael Jordan signature debossed into the uh, into the suede, so it's kind of pressed in there. Then you have the Jumpman in gold. All of the little features, the eyelets are in gold. And as I mentioned earlier, the aglets on the lace steps are also gold. Moving to the tongue, you have a neoprene tongue. The entire booty is actually neoprene on the Jordan 7. Um, and it says Air Jordan. And then we move to the back. Now, usually on the back of Jordan 7s, what you have is the number 23. In fact, this is one of the few sneakers that, ne that doesn't say Nike Air on it at all. If I remember correctly, the Jordan 6 is the last real uh, Jordan numbered silhouette that had the Nike Air on the back. And with the 7, it moved to this format that had this arrow. And here you have the number 9. Now, number 9 is Jordan's Olympic number. Um, Olympic numbers are required to be like something like 1 to 15 or something. So his number was 9 and you'll actually see repeated over and over through time um, different players wearing 9 on Team USA because they don't retire the numbers the way they do in the league. And then on the inside, back of the tongue says new sheriff in town and a little tab on the side says June 22, 1992. On the left side sneaker, it also says new sheriff in town, but it doesn't have the tab that has the date. The other difference is that on the back of the left sneaker, you don't have the number nine, you have the trophy room logo debossed there. And this is kind of a, like a little medallion of, of uh, plastic and gold plastic. And then of course, the throwback tribute to the Olympics themselves, you have the colors, the five colors of the five Olympic rings here represented on the little heel tab. Um, of course, no licensing directly with the Olympics. That surprises nobody, but it's nice to have those little callbacks on this Olympic colorway. It does come with these Dream Cell insoles. And it says here, the greatest game ever played Monte Carlo. And it has a jump man there. And then you have this African inspired print again, um, which Michael Jordan kind of wore very prominently during the Barcelona Olympics walking around Spain. And then on the other insole, you have the trophy room logo, welcome to the family, 1992. Now let's jump right into comfort. Uh, in terms of comfort, this is actually my first pair of Jordan 7s and I was shocked at how comfortable they are versus a Jordan 3, Jordan 5. I love wearing my Jordan 5s, I wear them all the time. I was shocked at how comfortable this was. Now, this neoprene booty comes right out of that Tinker Hatfield era of Warachis, of the entire kind of advent of cross training. This was that era for uh, for Nike footwear and for Tinker Hatfield. So you'd fit this on, you'd, you'd sl you slip it on, and it fits like a glove, literally. It has that t-shirts for your feet, uh, feeling when you had them on feet. And again, I walked around them all day, super comfortable. In terms of sizing, do go true to size. There is no break in time for these. If anything, they get a little bit more comfortable um, as you're wearing them. But as soon as you put them on, the on foot experience is incredibly comfortable immediately. I did have only one real complaint and that is the insole. So the insole is a Dream Cell insole, which again is a little bit better than an Ortholite, not quite as good as a polyurethane insole. Um, however, it's kind of balanced out by the amount of polyurethane that's in this midsole and that, you know, kind of upgraded full length air units, more similar to like a, to an Air Force One. So the problem is with this print on the Dream Cell insole, you kind of slide around a bit. It's a little bit slippery inside of the sneaker. And so it forced me to wear my sneakers a little tighter than I wanted to when you lace them up tight and they don't look quite as good. But that's a minor nitpick. Most people won't be wearing collaboration sneakers like this for 20,000 step days, uh, five days in a row. Again, if you do want to pick up these sneakers, they are true to size. That neoprene booty really gives you a lot of freedom. Now my pinky was dying a little bit, if I'm honest, uh, at around 90,000 steps. I started to get a little bit of a blister on the inside from my toes being 
rubbing against each other, but that might be a factor of the slippiness of that insole again. So you might be able to swap that out and, and not have that issue. Or uh, at least for me, I am a very true to size 9.5. If you are 9.5, I don't recommend going up a size or up half a size. Do go true to size. All right. Thank you so much to Jordan Brand for sending these over. Thank you so much to Trophy Room for making them. Uh, thank you, Michael Jordan, for playing in the Olympics. Like, what a what a moment in time. Like, that's one of those childhood defining moments uh, culturally. All right. I wish you guys good luck. I wish you guys good health. Thanks for watching.